Thank you. Thank you and good morning. And welcome to the 2015 Omni Update User Training Conference. For those of you who have not had the pleasure of meeting yet, my name is Lance Merker. I'm the CEO of Omni Update. And it's my honor to welcome you all to our 11th annual user training conference. And yeah, <laughs> 10 years. And welcome to mostly sunny Newport Beach. You know, I think this is one of the most wonderful places in all of Southern California. Maybe it's because I was born here, which I was. Maybe it's because I love the ocean so much, and there's plenty of that here. So if you've never been to Newport Beach before, I hope you find it to be as special as I do. You know, we are minutes away from some of the most scenic beaches in Southern California. And you are a short drive from the sites of Los Angeles and, of course, the magic of Disneyland. So if you're from out of town, I hope you have an opportunity to see some of the sites. And we will do our best to help you do that as well. All right, we have a huge conference lined up for you this year. First of all, we have record attendance. There are more of you here as customers than we've ever had at a user training conference. In fact, this morning there are over 200 of you here as customers in the room. In addition to that, we have over 20 of our partners here with us this morning. And in addition to that, there will be over 50 OmniUpdate employees through here throughout the week to participate in the workshops and lead the training sessions and the hands-on user training sessions. We have a huge conference lined up for you, 67 sessions, workshops, and topic tables this year. That's 31 general sessions, 15 topic tables, and we have 21 killer hands-on workshops that begin tomorrow afternoon and last through Thursday. And we have a record number of you staying for those workshops this year. Nearly 70% of you are staying all the way through Thursday. So we'll get to see a lot of each other this week. And as I said, there are over 50 OmniUpdate employees who will be through here during the week. So you shouldn't have any trouble putting a face to the name of those that perhaps you've only worked with remotely in the past. All right, now, the reason you're all here this week, the reason you've traveled from across the country and as far away as Canada and Europe is because you're all part of the Omni Update family. And because this is a user conference, this week is truly all about you. You know, at Omni Update, we spend a tremendous amount of time thinking about you. I say this every year, but it's really true. In all the years we've been in business, we've made it our mission to do two things. First, understand our customers. Truly understand you. Understand the challenges that you face and the solutions to those challenges that you dream about. And second, it's to understand ourselves. Understand what we're really good at and how we can apply what we're good at to solve your problems and do so better than any other company in the world. So naturally, we spend a lot of time thinking about you. And in all these years, we've learned a thing or two about you. We know that your jobs are not solely focused on web content. In fact, your jobs are deeply intertwined with all of the digital marketing communications challenges facing your institution every day. Your jobs require an incredible diversity of skills and the mastery of an incredibly diverse set of tools. Personally, I'm continually amazed at how talented all of you are. And it's so many different things. You are, think about it, you are experts at content management. And not just content management, but multi-channel content management. Meaning that you are experts at managing content for the college website and blogs and social media as well. But it goes even further because you are also experts at managing content for mobile, meaning you understand responsive design and how to, to deliver your website content 
to a myriad of different mobile devices that seems to increase exponentially. You are experts at email marketing and how to deliver a responsive email message to a world that's increasingly reading their emails on a mobile device. And you are experts at analytics, big data, and how to understand and, and analyze all of this information in relationship to a demographic that's changing its behavior every year. You know, there are no traditional webmasters that have had to learn all that you have had to master. When you think about it, there are truly no marketing communications professionals in corporate America today that surpass your level of talent. And there are certainly no harder working people in your institutions than all of you seated here in this room. So when you go back to work next week after the conference, hold your head high and remind yourself how far you've come, how much you've learned, and frankly, how important your job is to the business of your institution. You know, your institution's success depends largely upon your success and the success of your team and your ability to successfully master the tools that you all share, the tools that you use from OmniUpdate. And you know that because that's why you're here, right? And we know that, so we've designed this entire conference to help you unlock the potential of OU Campus. We are so glad you're here this week. We've got so much to teach you and share with you. All right, let me give you a quick overview of what's gonna happen over this week. We're gonna start off this morning with a look ahead at what's in OU Campus. And we're gonna focus specifically on how you can unlock its power. Then after the break, we're gonna take a deep dive into gadgets. And we're gonna help you understand how you can participate in expanding the ecosystem. Then, after lunch, we have got 67 sessions, workshops, and topics tables for you. The sessions are all today and tomorrow. The topic tables are tomorrow afternoon, and the workshops begin tomorrow afternoon and last through Thursday. I also want to give a special thank you to all of our customers who are presenting in the sessions and topic tables this year. We know how challenging it is to prepare for this and to present in front of your peers. Thank you so much for um, all of you who volunteered to present this year. Yay. And because we know that you want to hear from us, we have brought our developers, our product experts, and our trainers here to lead most of the sessions and all of the workshops. Now, we know you've got a lot of things to choose from this afternoon. There are so many sessions spread across four different breakout rooms. So we put together a, well, a very special panel to help you understand what some of these sessions are going to be this afternoon and help you match your interests to your particular breakout rooms. Let's roll the video. Hello, and welcome to the OUTC matchmaking game. I'm your host, Brandon Shireman. Today, we have four strapping young men with us, each representing a breakout session room. All in their places with smiles on their faces, let's meet them. And here they are. Representing the Pacific Room is contestant number one. When he's not overseeing the developers that write our code, he practices his stand-up comedy routine. We'd like you to welcome Shahab Lashkari. Representing the Patio Room, we have contestant number two. In his spare time, he enjoys making sales, snuggling, and catching butterflies. His name is Michael Monina. 
Representing the Terrace Room is contestant number three, the Canadian Pogo Stick Champion of 2015, and the number one OU Campus Support Nerd. We'd like you to meet Andrew Soderberg. And finally, representing the Plaza Room is contestant number four, one of the founding members of the Celine Dion Fan Club and a top salesman for her merchandise. Here is Jeremy Rex. Now, let's meet the lucky lady. She enjoys rap music, competitive eating contests, and grooming wild animals. We're delighted to welcome Rochelle Avery. Now, Rochelle, we have four gentlemen who you'll be questioning, and from their answers, you must select the breakout room you like best. Okay, let's start with a hello and see how they sound. Well, hello. Hello. Howdy, ma'am. How are you doing? All right, Rochelle, you've got your questions. Gentlemen, good luck. Contestant number one, as an OU campus administrator, why should I choose your sessions? Honey, the Pacific Room has everything your admin heart desires. At 115, you'll learn about an amazing new mobile app just for content approvers and administrators. At 215, I'll talk about all of our system gadgets. And at 315, you'll learn about calendars that can be customized to fit your specific needs. Interesting. Contestant number two, in this age of ever-changing technology, what will I learn from attending the patio room sessions? Get ready to be amazed. First, you'll learn how to create beautiful emails and blogs within OU Campus. Then, get into some blogging strategy. Afterwards, it's all about responsive design. Is it necessary to redesign? Visit the patio room to find out. Oh my! Contestant number three. I get bored easily. Why will the terrace room sessions keep me interested? You're in for a non-stop thrill ride. We'll start by showing you how to use the latest features in OU Campus. Then we'll move into an in-depth discussion of analytic strategy. Finally, I'll show you a plethora of OmniUpdate support services at your disposal. Very nice. Contestant number four. When I attend a session, I'm looking for a good time. Will I find one in the plaza room? Girl, you are in for a treat. It will be nothing but good times. First, I'm going to talk about creating searchable campus directories. Then, you're going to put on your party hat, because we're going to learn about consolidating social media accounts with OU Mashup. Lastly, you are going to lose your freaking mind, because we're going to be discussing Utah Valley University's responsive course catalog. It's responsive. Me, you, responsive. All right, time is up, and now you have to decide on which breakout room you will attend. Which one do you choose? I can only choose one? Yes! Which one appealed to you the most? I... I can't choose. They all sound so great! Don't make me choose, Brandon! Don't make me choose! Well, maybe we can try again tomorrow. Until then, good luck to all of you out there choosing your own sessions. All right, you got a lot to choose. I want to talk about sharing your experiences at this conference. You know, we find the feedback that we get from this conference is that so many of you appreciate this conference because you get to work with us. You get to work with our developers who make our product, our support people who you may never get to meet anywhere else. And you get to share your experiences and tell us what it is that you're working on and how we can help you better. But this is also a wonderful way for you to share your experiences with each other. The peers here surrounding you are all doing the same things you're doing using the same tools and you're all OmniUpdate customers. So this is a great opportunity for you to meet other people that are doing the exact same things you are. So to help you do that this year, we've done something a little special. If you haven't noticed this already, on your name badge is a little starred number. This is the number of years your institution has been an OmniUpdate customer. 
So take a look at that star, and well, if you have a high number, find somebody with a low number. <laughs> like Ryan from University of Alaska here, who has a one, he's a brand new customer, and Nathan Gerber, who's been at this conference probably more times than I can count, and has a 12, because Utah Valley University has been a customer for a little over 12 years. So use this as an opportunity to start a conversation with someone. We think that this conference is a wonderful way for you to learn, share, and have some fun. And I guarantee you'll get the most out of this conference if you can help us and help each other do just that. So again, welcome to the conference. We're really glad to have you here. All right, let's get started. So this first session of the morning is all about a look ahead at OU campus and how you can leverage the power of the platform, our theme here at the conference. So I wanted to start by taking a quick look back at the past year since our last conference and the calendar year 2014. Tell you about some of the things that we've been doing for you and some of the things you've been doing with us. Then we'll talk about today. We'll look at what's brand new in the product and what we're doing right now for you. And then we'll take a look at what's next. We'll take a little further look out into the roadmap and talk about some of the things that are coming really soon after the conference. Sound good? All right. So let's start with a quick look back. 2014 was a huge year for OmniUpdate as a company. The company that you rely on for your web content management system had a terrific year in 2014, in large part because of you. We grew in every dimension. We signed 33 new customers in 2014. And many of you are here as first-time attendees of this conference and brand new customers. We crossed some major milestones in 2014, including this one, 50,000 licensed users of OU Campus today. And this one, we passed 20 million, in fact, 22 million as of today, pages that have been updated using OU Campus, another major milestone. And this one, we spent over 22,000 hours developing OU Campus, the key features, components, modules, and gadgets that you enjoy from us that are in OmniUpdate OU Campus version 10. Now, you had a huge year as well, in fact, we, this was the second year, 2014 was the second year that we had participants in our speaker scholarship program. If you don't know what this is, let me explain. This is a terrific opportunity for you to participate at industry conferences that you might not have an opportunity to participate in. If you would like to go to a conference, not this conference, but any industry conference that you'd like to speak at, and if you don't have the funding to get there, come talk to us. Present your information to us. If we think it's a, a good fit and something that we can help you do, we'll try to get you in and we'll fund you to get there. So this is a wonderful opportunity. And these are some of the people that participated last year. Thank you to all of our speaker scholarship supporters. We also kicked off something last year for the first time called our Blog Ambassador Program. This is another program that you can participate in as customers. And this is a terrific way for you to get to this conference for free next year. We started a blog last year where we're talking about industry-specific information that is helpful, and it's a public blog on our public website. And if you're a guest blogger and you sign up to do four blogs, four blog posts, then you can come to this conference. Here's what it looks like. Here's an example of one of those blogs. And you can see here Marie Wise, who is somewhere seated here in the audience, I hope. There she is who's here because of this. So thank you to Marie, and thank you to all of our blog ambassadors who participated last year. We also had some awards given to some of you who are here in this room. EDU Styles Awards is a design competition specifically on higher education websites. And I'm pleased to say that we have several customers who are here who are winners of EDU Styles. So let's take a look at some of these. The first one is the University of Texas at Tyler. 
Best campus map or virtual tour, both in the judged and people's category. Robin, are you here? Woohoo! In addition, Eastern Illinois University won for best annual or community report, both judged and people's choice. Also, Oregon State University, best community driven or social media site by the people's choice. And here's a big one. Stony Brook University won for the prestigious best prospective student or admissions site, both the judged and people's choice. And I think I saw someone last night from Stony Brook here, right? Yeah, there you are. Congrats on that. That's terrific. All right. In addition to that, uh, we won some awards. I talked about this last year. University Business Magazine Top Product Award. We won in 2012 and 2013 for the commercial CMS chosen by University Business Readers. Well, I'm pleased to say that we won again for a third year in a row. So thank you to all of you who may have voted for us. This is really, we're very honored by this award for a third year in a row. I also mentioned last year, just before the conference, we won something called the Stevie Award for Customer Service Department of the Year for 2014. It was just before the conference last year. So guess what? You know, Stevie Awards are run every year. And yes, we won again in 2015. In fact, this year we won two Stevie Awards, both in the category of computer software customer support and for higher education. So we're really honored to win these world-recognized awards for customer service. And I just wanted to say something about that because our customer service department is really the recipient of this award. Not me, not our company, but these hardworking individuals who you actually probably interface with on a regular basis. These are the folks that help you solve your problems and take your feedback and weave this all into the product. They work so hard, and we made a little video to, to honor these folks. So let me play that video for you right now. We are honored and thrilled to have won two Stevie Awards for Customer Service Department of the Year. These awards are a true testament to the hard work put in by our implementation, training, and support teams every day. Our implementation team works with you to understand your content management needs and customize the development of your OU Campus web templates. They are a hardworking group that goes above and beyond to ensure your success. Our training team makes sure your experience with our products is the best it can be, from free monthly webinars to reference guides, support documentation, and all the hands-on training at our conference. Our trainers are thorough and dedicated. And finally, our support team is always ready to answer your calls, respond to your tickets, and resolve your issues. We set high standards for them when it comes to customer response time, and they continue to rise above those standards. We couldn't operate without them. As a company, we aim to provide an exceptional customer experience to each of our 50,000 CMS users. And these awards recognize that we are achieving that goal. I am very proud of our team's accomplishment. Let's give him a hand. Andy does such a great job of managing that team, and it's such an important one to our organization. All right, one more thing that we did last year, a little different. We began supporting an organization called Tech Girls. Tech Girls is a, a wonderful way for us to give back to the community to help middle school girls to be comfortable with technology and look for careers and opportunities in technology. And we brought somebody with us to tell you just a little bit more about that. I want to introduce Gloria Bell from Tech Girls to tell you just a little bit more about this wonderful organization. Gloria? Thanks. All right, good morning, everyone. Thank you so much, Lance. And I want to say a, a huge thank you to Omni Update and to all of you for giving us a few minutes to tell you about our organization. Uh, I also am going to ask 
a little patience with me. I promised Lance that I would keep this to under five minutes, so I'm actually going to stick to talking points, so please excuse the paper in my hands. <laughs> Uh, unfortunately, Tech Girls is one of those things that I'm so passionate about that I could get up here and speak uh, probably the rest of the day. So we're not going to go that far. First of all, Tech Girls is a nonprofit based in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, that works with middle school age girls to empower them to become the future technology leaders. We do this by putting the tech in their hands at our free workshops. What we do is we provide them information not just on a career in technology, but we actually let them touch the technology. They run workshops and everything from parsing big data to building your own website, to writing Ruby, to building robots and electronic jewelry, and the list goes on and on. We have 33 topics of work, uh, workshops that we've taught so far. Our mission is to reduce and hopefully eliminate the gender gap in the technology industry. So. This is a statistic that many of you have probably seen. It's been out in the media a lot over the last few years, that by 2020, there's going to be 1.4 million new tech jobs. What's not getting talked about as often is the fact that at the going current rate of people enter entering the technology industry, only 400,000 of those jobs are actually going to be filled by trained, qualified individuals. One of the reasons that Tech Girls is so important is that 51% of the U.S. workforce is women. 57% of the bachelor degrees in the United States are granted to women, yet only one quarter of the technology workforce is women. It has become not only a societal imperative, but an economic imperative that we balance this gender gap. And the way we're going to do that to fill those 1.4 million jobs by 2020 is by starting with the girls who are in middle school. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you a few of the faces of some of our tech girls. And I ask you to take a look, because I, ha I guarantee that at least one or two of them are going to remind you of your daughter, or your granddaughter, or your niece, or your neighbor. What you don't know about a lot of these girls is that ninth grade is when girls start to opt out of STEM subjects. Through middle school, they start pulling away. And we've learned that they do this because there is a stereotype of what a career in technology looks like, what someone who works in technology looks like, and a lack of role models. What we are trying to do with tech girls is not only bring girls into tech, but keep them in tech by showing them that there is more to a career in technology and to be a, being a person who works in tech than that stereotype that they've seen. What we have learned in a survey, we've worked with about 750 girls since we got started. We did a survey of 350 of them. 70% have said they have changed their minds about a career in technology after working in our program. That's a huge number of girls. These are some of the things that some of the girls in our program have said once they've participated in one of our workshops. It's pretty impactful. You know, we are changing the path of not only their lives, but changing the path of our industry, which is extremely important. So, now that I've told you what Tech Girls is, I've told you why we're so important and what we do, I'm going to tell you how you can help. We are hoping that all of you will take an example from our wonderful new partner at Omni Update and do one of a couple of things. One, we are a 501c3, which means we exist on donations. So donations are always appreciated. But what we consider even more important is helping us spread the message to girls across the country and around the world about what a career in technology really looks like and helping them ignite the passion that they have for tech. And you can do that with our Tech Shops in a Box program. Tech Shops in a Box are our curriculum that we have developed. It is on our website. It is free. It is downloadable. They are short, project-based workshops that anyone can take out and teach in any community anywhere. We give you everything that you need except a space to hold it, the instructor, and the girls. But we even give you some tips on how to find all of those things as well. 
So I would really encourage you, techgirls.org, go to our tech shops page, take a look at all of the different topics that we have for a tech shop in a box, and go teach one in your community. You know, there's a lot of wonderful IT professionals in this room, a lot of you are connected to IT professionals, and you, the beautiful thing is finding a space. Go out, change the lives of 15 girls, and change what the face of tech looks like. This is a quote probably a lot of you have seen from Louis C.K., um, anyone that saw me with my jacket off earlier that quotes actually on the back of our t-shirts. What Tech Girls is trying to do with the assistance of wonderful partners like Omni Update and with individuals like all of you is to ignite the passion and support the girl that's going to be the next Steve Jobs. She is out there, we just have to make sure that she has the support and the knowledge she needs to continue to pursue that career. Uh, thank you again to Omni Update, to all of you for taking a few minutes to hear about our program. If any of you have any questions, there's information in your folder. There's also one of our Tech Girl stickers. I hope you enjoy them. And I will be around for most of the morning. Unfortunately, I have to head back uh, this afternoon. But if you have any questions, please, at the break, feel free to come find me. Thank you. Thank you, Gloria. Thank you so much. We love this program. You know, some of the brightest women that we've hired that are technologists at Omni Update certainly started at a very young age. And I was telling Gloria this yesterday. I've heard stories about how when they were very young girls, they learned things from their fathers. Well, I hope in the future they're learning things from their mothers. So this is a wonderful organization. All right. I wanted to talk just for a moment about our partner network, which continued to grow in 2014. We work with some of the best partners in higher education, some of the best design partners in the world, I would say. And some of our partners have done just some amazing things with all of you, our customers. Everything from strategy work to design work to web governance work and SEO, and the list goes on and on. These are just some samples of some of the work that our partners have done for those of you here in this room, just those of you here in this room. They've done work for so many of our customers that aren't seated here this week. And we are just so pleased and proud to work with these wonderful partners. So a special thank you to all of our partners who we've worked with for so many years and have done so many great things for all of you. We hear such great feedback from you because of the partners that we've chosen. And we're very, very selective in these people. These are the best of the best. So thank you, guys. All right, 2014 was also a big year for the product for OU Campus version 10. We made huge strides forward in so many ways. The biggest was the fact that we spent most of the year migrating and upgrading our customer base. So we've upgraded, as of this point, 75%. Now, of you in this room, it's around 80%, almost 85%. It's much higher than this number. And we are going to have 100% of our customers upgraded by the end of the first half of this year. So 2014 was a huge year of migration. We did it very carefully, very methodically and frankly, very slowly, intentionally, so that we could get everybody moved over at their own pace. And to date, we've got 75%. It was also a huge year because we released analytics in the product in a huge way. We've introduced analytics tied into Google and social analytics in such a way that, well, frankly, you all asked for, and we did it just like you wanted. So we've got page-level analytics. Page-level analytics pop up in the, in the gadget sidebar right next to any page that you're editing or previewing. And this gives you instant access to see all of the statistics about that page while you're working on that page. And you can control who has this access both by page level 
and by the analytics technology itself to turn this gadget on and off for individuals that you want to get the power of information in their hands as they're editing pages. You can see right here that they can adjust the date range of the analytics itself so that they can see what's going on and drill down right as they're editing the page live. They can click a little expanded view button down here in the bottom right, and by doing so, it pops up a whole overlay on top, a heads-up display on top of that page where they can then flip through and look at all of the various different analytics that you've set up for them. So this is a great way for the individuals who are editing these pages to get at the data that's going to help them make good decisions. You can see that when you're looking at this heads-up display, you can actually zoom in on one particular aspect or one particular graph. And by clicking it, it pops it up on this big screen. And this has got a lot more information about the meaning of the data as well. So they're not just getting data, they're actually getting deep level explanations of what this data means, if you see right here. So they can get a quick view of the statistics, but then they can, some of this has pages of information about what it is that this means. For example, bounce rate and exit rates. What does that mean? Well, users don't have to wonder because it's all right there in front of them as they're using this gadget. In addition to that, we have site level analytics for our administrators. So all of you who are administrators in the product can assign Google site-wide analytics to your other administrators and put that right in the dashboard. So right here in the dashboard, you can configure this dashboard gadget to show them all of the data that they're interested in. Again, you can change and customize the date range. You can set it to the standard date ranges and set in a custom range as well. You can even change the view to different data sets. So you might be working on different sites or different subsets of the data. And you can drill down right here as administrators and see what's going on for the whole site. And then, of course, you can see these, all the beautiful analytics come through here as they slide through when you click on them. Expand one to full size, and you can even hover your mouse over and get more detailed data on some of these pie charts and bar charts and various different analytics graphs, all right here in the dashboard. And we have social analytics built in as well. So because OU Social is built in since version 9, you can send a Facebook wall post or a tweet whenever you publish a page. And then the link that comes back to that published page is tracked and analyzed and brought in as an analytic as well so that you can see what's going on both at a page view and on the site-wide view. So page analytics, site analytics, and social analytics, all built in to version 10 in 2014. Okay, so that's a, a quick look back at the past. Now let's talk about today. We've got some great things going on that we've just released in the product recently, some of which was released just last week. New features, new gadgets, and some exciting new modules. In fact, I want to start with modules and talk about some of the new things that we brought in just recently. The first, something we call Email Campaign Manager. This is probably the most powerful module we've ever built, and it's available to you. Now, modules are all add-on technologies that are sold separately, so they're not built-in features into the OU Campus system, but they integrate into the system in really unique ways. And Email Campaign Manager is exactly what you think it is. It is a powerful email system that allows you to create responsive emails directly in the WYSIWYG editor, directly in the OU Campus interface, just as you create any page. Then you can test against multiple browsers, including mobile devices. You can test against spam filters. And then, of course, you can send and track that information. Then, since you're in OU Campus, you have control over the landing pages, the call to actions, the forms. And those forms that you might create can feed back data directly back 
into the email campaign manager, and you can use those lists and manage those lists directly in the system. Then it's got some incredibly powerful analytics built in. So you can track and analyze your results right in OU Campus using the email campaign manager. Here's what it looks like. Here it is um, in the recent drafts mode here. We can see as an overview some of the things we're working on, some of the campaigns we've recently sent. We can see the analytics and how that, a summary of that to see how it's performing at a high level. If we look at the create and send tab, we can move in here and we can easily create a new campaign. We can uh, go in and, and modify that campaign, set it up. Here's how we can test it against various different browsers. Here we're seeing it in uh, Gmail. So we can see what one of our emails looks like before we sent it directly in Gmail. Then we can um, look at the lists and subscribers. So here we can manage those lists and subscribers. We can have as many different lists as we'd like. And it's got some phenomenal reports. All of the reports that you would expect in a great email campaign, including you can see who's opening and reading your emails geographically in near real time. Some wonderful stats on email client usage, and the list goes on and on. So that's Email Campaign Manager. Create responsive design, designed emails directly from templates in OU Campus. And part of the setup of this module is to build those templates for you so they match the look and feel and the design of your website or your other emails that you want to send. And they're responsive. Personalize the body and the subject of emails, if you'd like. Easy list management directly in OU Campus. A-B testing. So you can run your A-B tests and have the winner of the A-B test take over midway through the campaign if you want to do it in real time. And of course, some great tracking and analytics. And it's accessible through OU Campus directly in the Add-ons tab. So that's the first module that I wanted to show you. Next, we have something called OU Blogs, the power of blogging directly in OU Campus. Now, for those of you who have been customers for a while, you might remember OU Blogs from the old days. Well, this is a whole new ballgame. We, early on, we decided that blogging was going to be important, but WordPress was going to be the blogging system of choice. So we integrated WordPress with OU Campus in the early days. And then we learned that maybe WordPress wasn't the thing that you really wanted to be using every day, particularly since you had so many users trained with OU Campus, and it was, and it was so different. So we took it upon ourselves to rethink this, and with your help, we completely redesigned OU Blogs. And we made a very powerful system for your users. So here's the end result of a blog. You would never know that it's anything different than exactly what you wanted, exactly what you designed, exactly how it might work in WordPress. But it's not. And it's coming directly out of your website as standard HTML pages managed through OU Campus. So has your look and feel, of course. Featured posts, rotators, some nice um, rotating features here. And then, of course, the various different blog posts below that. Recent posts, all automatically designed and generated, all tied into your RSS feeds, and everything exactly as you would expect it to be. And then, of course, you can click to read more, open up that blog post, and comments as well, optionally. If you want comments, you have them. If you don't, you don't. Here's what it looks like in OU Campus. Real straightforward. You simply see blog posts just as you see pages in the system. Super simple, organized by folders, exactly as you would expect. Simply click the New button to create a new blog post. Here's the template for the blog that we've created for this fictional Galena University. And simply fill out a form, just like you're creating a new page in OU Campus and drop right into the WYSIWYG editor and manage that 
page, just as you manage all pages in the product. Super cool, super simple. Responsive design templates, again, part of the setup of this module is for us to help you get started. So we're going to set up the responsive design templates for you. So they look and feel exactly like your site, exactly the way you want for that particular subsite or what have you. Optional comments, if you want to turn them on. All the features that you love in OU Campus, including scheduled publishing, posting to Facebook and Twitter as you post the blog automatically, workflow and approval, and of course, all the analytics that you just saw in the new feature released last year in the analytics tool. So that's OU Blogs. Next, we've got something called OU Search. Ensure your site visitors find everything you want them to find on your website. Now, if you've been a customer for a while, you might remember OU Search. Well, this is a completely new animal. Again, we completely redid OU Search based upon your feedback, and we think you're going to love it. So, here's what it might look like. I'm talking about search on your website. So this might be your website. This is the fictional Galena University. Don't send your kids here. And here's the little search thing that you might have on the top of your website, right? Well, simply type in a little bit. It's got some nice clairvoyance and type ahead so you can see what you might be looking for before you type in just a couple of letters. And then you get your results. And you can filter those results. And you can do some amazingly powerful things. And you can lead people to water. You can get people to exactly the information you want because you have complete control over this. You're not reliant on Google to give you results and maybe put in the things that, that it assumes is right. You can really make sure that your site visitors find what you want them to find. So in the little um, parametric search tool here, you might find this familiar if you've used searching on shopping sites like Amazon where you find a bunch of results, and then you can filter by clicking on the parametric search icons to simply pare it down to exactly what you want. This is really cool, and this is all within your control in OU Search. And some wonderful search query reports built right in as well. So you can see how many times people are searching for the things that they find, and the things they're not finding, and how they're spelling things, and so much more. Complete control using OU Search. So it's a SaaS service, meaning there's absolutely nothing to install. You can free yourself from that old Google appliance, or if you're using a third-party system, this is a great way to gain control back of your site. And because it's a SaaS service, and because there's nothing to install, install, that means there's nothing to maintain. The search results, of course, match your site, part of the process of setting up this module. Live suggested search tool, as you saw when you type a few characters on the screen. Report queries, including when there are no hits. Searches over 100 file types. Parametric searches, really cool, really nice and best bet recommendations. This is where you can really dial it in and help customers or visitors, site visitors, find what you want them to find whenever they're getting a little lost. All right. It was, it's also exciting to say that we've got a lot coming for you directly in OU Campus version 10. We just released version 10.2 last week. So if you haven't had a chance to play with 10.2, we're going to talk a lot about it here at the conference, and we're going to show you a lot of it. But I want to start with the biggest thing of all, which is called Just Edit. In context, editing just got better. Now, if you've been a customer for a while, you probably remember Just Edit. Well, this is not the old Just Edit. Is this sounding familiar? <laughs> this is a completely redone Just Edit. And it's really cool. You're going to like this in so many different ways, whether you're a user of the product, an administrator of the product, or someone who's setting up templates in the product. You are going to love 
how just that it provides in context WYSIWYG editing with the most powerful WYSIWYG editor we've ever offered in the product. So here's a page. We're previewing the page to edit this page. We can see we've got two different editable regions on this page, the little green button right over the main content area and a little green edit button right over the left navigation bar. So a user simply clicks on one of these editable regions and edits that page, almost as if they're in the preview. There's fewer clicks. There's fewer page reloads. It's remarkable how simple it is now to edit a page in context and how perfectly it matches the site, the CSS, and everything that you would expect. And again, our most powerful WYSIWYG toolbar we've ever offered in the product. This is, this is really, really remarkable. Your customers or your users, I'm sorry, are really going to love how easy it is to use this new toolbar. Same thing, on the left navigation, here's the area that we can click. Simply click, and suddenly that area changes shape or color. The rest of the page fades to a dimmer color, and you're editing by clicking right in that section. Super easy, super clean. So just edit, faster in-context editing. In fact, the fastest in-context editing we think that there is in the industry. More powerful WYSIWYG editing. Improved modal dialogues. No third level tagging. Now this is a big one, particularly if you're in the template business, particularly if you're an administrator working with new, with new pages and entering those into the system. Third level tagging has, we've spent a lot of time at this conference talking about how to set that up. Well, a lot of that goes away now, if not all of it, if you use just edit. To demonstrate, I'm going to bring Shahab Lashkari up on the screen to show you just edit right now. Shahab? Thank you. There you go. Thanks, Lance. So, just edit is something I'm really excited about personally. Uh, one of the things that we're trying to accomplish when we're designing and building OU Campus is to truly make this as user friendly as possible. You know, we understand that your jobs are to maintain the website, but you're not necessarily the ones entering all of the content. The people that are entering the content are not necessarily the most technically savvy. Um, and they don't necessarily want to have to fight a tool in order to get their content in. And WYSIWYG editing is not easy. I mean, this is just across the board, any product you use. Uh, so just edit is really our attempt at improving this experience across the board. So here I am at Galena University. I'm going to go in and I want to edit this page. So just like I would, I'm going to scroll down. I'm going to click on my direct edit link, and I'm going to log in to OU Campus. And just as you saw, I've got my editable regions, so I can choose which one I want. And I'm going to go ahead and edit this region right here. And you can see my toolbar popped up, and I'm right there in the page editing. Now, this is the same preview. There's no background image. There's nothing going on here other than being able to directly edit this image in line. I'm sorry, this page in line. Uh, we've pulled all of the settings across, so if you have custom toolbars defined for users where you're maybe not giving them access to all of the tools that they shouldn't have access to, those are all honored and respected, so you don't have to go through and change any settings specific for Just Edit. Um, you don't even have to turn off any of that third-level tagging that you maybe had. Uh, in most cases, that'll all just work directly in Just Edit as well. So here I am. I can go through and make whatever changes I want. Actually, in this case, I'm going to pull out my gadgets and take an image. And let's just drag an image right in here. Of course, I have to enter an image description. So we'll do library 
and drop that right onto the page. And now you can see I've entered an image. All I did was drag and drop from my gadgets. I can see exactly how it looks on the page. I've got updated tools. So if I wanted to maybe insert a table, that process has been uh, streamlined and is much easier. So I've got, just like, say, Microsoft Word or any other uh, tools that you may be familiar with, I can just drag out and choose how big I want my table to be, drop that right in. Um, still have all of my functions undo. I can insert assets. I can insert snippets. Basically, everything that you're familiar with with the WYSIWYG editor has been brought forward into JustEdit, but made better. Um, a couple things that I want to point out. We've had, historically, this little help icon in the WYSIWYG editor. This is now dynamic, so it'll only show help items for the items on the toolbar. So if you actually have uh, a customized toolbar and you've limited access, you're not going to see help items for those uh, buttons that you haven't turned on. So from here, I can just hit Save. I've saved my page. You'll see it's going to update and show me my image. And now I'm ready to go. I can publish my page. Now, just as we do with all major new features in OU Campus, we ship this in the off position. So in order to turn this on, as an administrator, you'll go into your setup, and you'll go into your account setup, and you'll turn it on. And you'll have several choices. You can turn it on for everybody across the board, or you can set it on a per user basis where the administrator actually chooses which users have just edit enabled. And once you turn on just edit, that's the default behavior. That's the WYSIWYG editor that they're going to get. Um, alternatively, you can give individual users the choice themselves. You can turn it on such that individual users can go into their user settings and turn this feature on as well. Um, or if you're just not ready yet, you can leave it in the off position until you've had a chance to really play with it and uh, make sure that it's right for your users. So again, this is a feature I'm really, really excited about. You can find out more about this at 1.15. Uh, there's a session, What's New in OU? Um, and we'll be talking about just edit and trainings and throughout the conference. So thank you very much. Great. Thank you, Shahab. Thanks so much, Shahab. All right. So that's a look back, a look at what's new today. And we've got a lot more to show you about what's new today throughout the conference, but that's a sneak peek. Now let's talk about what's next. So I want to dive a little bit deeper into the um, future and take a look at some of the things that are coming really, really soon. So these are things that are coming very soon. The first of which is something that we're really, really excited about. And it's called OU Campus for Mobile. So this is our mobile administration anywhere, anytime, OU Campus mobile administration tool. You are going to love how we design this mobile tool for you to use. Here's what it looks like on a mobile device. I can simply log in right here, wherever I am, as an administrator, and get access to the tools that I need. So here I am logged in. I can see my dashboard. I've got pages that need my approval here. I've got my, my inbox and other capabilities. Perhaps I want to publish a page. But here I am in the workflow system, so really what I want to do is I want to look at this page. So I simply click on it, and then I can see this page, and I can see that I've got this publish or decline button right here at the bottom. So wherever I am, if I'm in the middle of something that's involved with a, a page update, it's critical, needs to get done, Boom, I can simply click to publish it right here. And when I do, it gives me all the tools that I'm familiar with, including final checks, so that I can check spelling for broken links, W3C, and make sure that this page is accessible before it goes live, and do it all from my mobile device. We can go back and see other capabilities here. We can manage users, for example. Notice we have all of the user avatars here as well, so we can see visually what these, who these people are. 
It's offering you powerful administration controls that you use most commonly in OU Campus. Page approvals and workflow. You can check in locked pages and much, much more. To show you this live right now, I'm going to have our Director of Product Development, Shahab Lashkari, come back up on stage. Shahab? Again, thank you, Lance. And uh, another project that I've been very, very excited to be working on uh, for quite a while now, as Lance mentioned, really designed to give you quick, direct access to the specific things that you'll need to do while you're on the go. Um, and we've actually designed this. You know, originally we talked about uh, OU Campus for Mobile really being a tool for administrators to be able to administer certain aspects of OU Campus while you're on the go. Um, but we've actually taken that a step further, and we've made this uh, for content managers, um, basically anybody that needs to get in and do specific tasks within OU Campus. So as you log in, uh, you're taken directly to your dashboard. And we've completely reimagined this from the desktop experience. So we're trying to give you access to exactly what we think is appropriate when you're on a mobile device. So the first thing you're going to see is anything that's pending your approval, all of your workflow items. Um, and again, you can just click right on here. You can view or take action straight on one of these things. Um, so if I wanted to view this page, I can go straight to that page. Um, so here's the, the page preview. I can actually view all of this. This page uses a responsive design, so I'm going to see exactly what it looks like on my mobile device. Um, I can choose to publish this page or decline this page, just like I would any other workflow item. When I choose to publish, I get all of Final Check as well. So I can go in here and run spell checking, link checking, W3C, accessibility. If final check's turned on automatically to run these, they'll get run automatically. I can schedule this to go live at a later date and time. So I can choose to uh, have this published you know, maybe Friday at 5 PM uh, or set a recurring schedule. I can even schedule a social media post to go along with this. So I can choose you know, my Twitter account and type out my message and say, come to Galena. Um, everything that you would get from the actual desktop experience when you're trying to publish a page, you can do directly from this mobile device uh, through your workflow item. I'm going to just go ahead and hit publish. And that's actually going to publish that page out live on the website. It's going to send out that tweet. It's going to actually perform all of that operation. I never had to pull out my laptop. I never had to pull out a tablet or something to you know, work with uh, the desktop interface. I can actually go straight to the live page and preview it, but I'm not going to do that. We're going to stay right here. Um, so again, messaging. So you don't have to be an administrator to get some value out of the OU Campus messaging system. Also, just checked out content. Maybe you forgot to check something in. You want to come in here, click the little light bulb icon, check it back in. Um, additionally, we know you, only have, you don't just have one site. You can quickly switch between your websites, um, and you can actually filter, search through, find exactly the sites you want, uh, jump straight to it, perform whatever actions you need. But we didn't stop there. So you've got full reporting. Um, you can see all of your checked out content. You can see pending approvals. So maybe I'm an administrator, and I know that this pending approval isn't going to happen because Michael Monina is out on vacation. So I can jump straight into here and reassign it out to somebody else. Uh, all of the actions, again, I feel like a broken record, but all of the actions that we feel are really, really important for an administrator or a content manager, you can do right here from within this mobile application. It's fast. It's very responsive. Uh, it's really, really powerful. And this is just the beginning. We have tons of plans to make this even better from what you've seen today. Um, so again, very excited. We have a whole session on this, also at 1.15. Uh, so if you want to learn more about this, come to that session. Thank you. All right, so that is something we're really excited about, OU Campus for Mobile. I want to talk for a moment now about modules and services. I talked about some of the new modules that we just came out with. And I want to talk, extend that a little bit further as well. 
So in OU campus, or as a part of the OU campus ecosystem, we have some incredible modules that many of you here, collectively you use hundreds of these if you add them all up. OU blogs, which we talked about, just re-released. OU search, also. And email campaign manager, our newest module and most powerful module to date. But we have more than that. We have our mobile site module, where we create a mobile website for you from your existing design. The true cost calculator, which is a tool brought to us by our friends and partners at No Levitz as a separate module. We have OU Mashup, which we introduced last year here at this conference, a social media hub for your website. We have OU Calendar, which probably half of you here in this room use as your primary web calendar. We have OU Backup, which is a way for you to have a complete backup of your production website ready to spin up should disaster strike. Interactive campus maps from our friends and partners at NewCloud. This powerful module allows you to create an interactive campus map, clickable map of your campus with some really great effects. Course Catalog is a module where we produce for you a course catalog designed and editable and manageable within OU Campus that ties directly into your backend data. And Faculty Directory, likewise, a module that ties into your backend data that gives your faculty an opportunity to participate in managing content on your public website within the boundaries that you set so that there's consistency, similarities, and harmony on campus. So all of these modules are available to you, and you might not know about all of these, but we have sessions here at the conference on every single one. So if any of these strike your fancy, make a note in your schedule and come to the session that describes what these modules do in more detail. We also put in your bag, in your welcome bag, a full description of all of these modules. It's a two-sided flyer, so you can see more in depth what some of these are. If you want to ask us more questions or see demonstrations, they're available here during the conference. But we went a little further, and we decided that we really need a place for all of these, and we call it the OU Marketplace. It's your one-stop shop for modules and gadgets. This is something that we're really excited to roll out in version 10.3. And we think you're going to love it. This is a way for you to turn on and off some of the capabilities. There's so much now in the product. There's so many gadgets. And we'll talk about gadgets after the break. But there's so much collectively now in the product that we wanted to consolidate this and give you a marketplace for you to see what's available and to turn them on and off. So here's what it looks like. It's directly available in the Add-ons tab. As you can see, you simply click, and you can see the new marketplace. And it showcases the newest, the latest, and greatest modules and gadgets. So here's, let me zoom out a little bit, and you can see a little bit more. We've got, just here on this little home page, the OU blogs. Module, course catalogs, OU Mashup, and OU Search. Popular gadgets, you can see some of the new gadgets that have just come out that you can now go to the marketplace to turn on. Gadgets right now, all the system gadgets are free. So you can go in and simply click to add one of these gadgets to your OU Campus experience and allow users to decide if they want to use them or force them turned on for all of your users if you really want them to and popular modules, and some of the recently added modules, and then some. So OU Marketplace is a really powerful and simple way for you to administer the system and for you to get the tool sets, the modules, and the gadgets that you need. And I wanted to show it to you right now. All right, so I'm going to simply log in. To my Galena University dashboard here. 
And I'm going to go to here to the add-ons tab. Notice I've got OU Calendar installed as a module, but I've got the marketplace right below that. So right below all of the modules that you've got installed, you've got this new marketplace. I simply click, and here we are. So now I've got this rotating slider of some of the newest and most interesting modules and gadgets that have been introduced in the product just recently here. If I scroll down a little bit, we can see some of the other ones that are already installed. Course Catalog, Mashup, and Search are all installed. If I scroll down a little bit more, we've got gadgets not installed. I can click to add those really, really easily. And here's some other popular modules. I can click on any module, and by doing so, I get a lot more information about it. The release date, the version number. I can even click here to like it. Let's say I'm not an administrator, and I can still see the marketplace, but I can't effectively add things that are for purchase. Well, I can tell somebody about it, and I can tell somebody that I like it. And then you can click in here and see what's going on. You can also send an email message internally in the system. Maybe you're interested in this, and you want to let somebody know that. Description, benefits, <coughs> screenshots, screenshots in action. We're even going to add videos of the modules in action to help you understand what these things do even more. So here's a lot more about the email campaign manager and what it does. I can click off of that. I can go back here to the marketplace. Scroll down a little bit here. If I want to add a gadget, well, here's the new YouTube gadget that was just released last week. Well, now I simply go to the marketplace. I click the Add button. And I can add that YouTube gadget immediately. And now it's going to install it for me and allow me to configure it and set it up. It's that simple now to add and manage all of the modules and gadgets that are available to you directly in the system. Let's take a look at some more here. Here's the interactive campus map from New Cloud. Here's OU Calendar. So we've got some great modules and services and gadgets directly in OU Marketplace. From the Add-ons tab, simply click on Marketplace, and there you go. We think you're going to love OU Marketplace. All right, but we didn't stop there because we get so much feedback from you. We know that there's other ways we can help. We hear from you all the time about your needs, some of the services that you're asking for, and frankly, they don't all fit into what we do best. They don't all fit as a gadget or a module or a feature of the product. But you know, we're, we're helpful people, and we want to continue to make sure that your experience using our product is great. And we want to be able to connect you to those services that you really need to use. So we talked about something last year that we've just now brought online, and we call it the concierge program. This is kind of in the what's next category, because although it's up and running now, we're going to be continually adding to this over the next several weeks after the conference, particularly with your feedback. The Omni Update Concierge program is a terrific opportunity for us to connect you to our favorite partners. So it looks like this. It's a web page. And simply go to concierge.omniupdate.com, and you can see all of these terrific services at your disposal. We've consolidated and worked with our partners to bring you some really terrific bite-size services that you can shop for on the website and find the perfect partner to help you fulfill your project whether it's a very small engagement or a little bit larger. It's not the full website redesign services that you might put an RFP out for. It's something that you absolutely need. You've probably been asking us for it. And we want to make sure that it's done right. So we're going to connect you to our partners to fulfill it. Here's an example of one of our partners who has a variety of different services, in fact, that you can see here. There are dozens 
almost 30 services that are available right now for you on the concierge site. Some of the participating partners are some of the people that I've already talked about. Barclay REI, Donahue Design, Higher Education Marketing, Cantor Creative, M. Stoner, No Levitz, and Vision Point Marketing are all offering services to you through the Omni Update Concierge Program. So simply go to concierge.omniupdate.com to find out more. We think you're going to benefit from this greatly. All right, so that's a look back. That's a look at today. And that's a look at what's next. Let's take a quick look at the roadmap and remind us where we are right now. So in Q1, we just released last week version 10.2. The big things are just edit and five new gadgets. Those five new gadgets are going to be talked about right after the break. Then, right after the conference, within the next couple of months, we plan to release version 10.3. This will include, among other things, OU Campus for Mobile. You will get your hands on this shortly. The OU Marketplace. You will see this show up in the Add-ons tab. And the Concierge Program. It's live right now, but we're going to continue to add to it. And we've got some more surprises for you in store for 10.3. To talk about those surprises and the rest of the roadmap for Q2 and the remainder of the year, join us tomorrow for the developer roadmap session where we will put a lot more on the screen and show you very specifically some of the things that are coming really soon. Thank you.